Hi, this is Max from Tulink. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a pre-hiring test uh, for remote software engineers or really any position that you have, right? So engineers or non-engineers alike. But for this recording, I'm going to be showing you um, the creation of a test for a front-end developer uh, that has to know React and Express as well, all right? So right now, like I'm on my uh, company page on the Palio company right here. And um, yeah, so let's get into it, right? So the first thing I want to do is create the test. All right. So I've got a note open. All right. So I've got a note open right here with uh, the data, right? So that I don't need to uh, like manually write everything. Okay, so in the first step here, as you can see, this is the basic information for my test, right? So, so this role here is for a front-end developer and I'll, I'll mark this as an intermediate level, all right? Uh, so here, I'm gonna leave record testing off, but you can turn this on if you wanna record the candidate uh, during a test take. And it's actually, it's a great feature to have, like if you wanna interact with the candidate, and maybe like ask them some questions and ask them to like answer some questions while they're taking this test, all right? Perfect, so this is the first step. Now I'll move to the uh, second step, which is to add content to the test, all right? And so on Tulink, you can um, add a pre-made test blocks, right? So these are all test blocks. Um, and so to clarify, a test block is a group of questions, right? So it's different questions that we've put together uh, to assess a candidate like on a specific skill. And most of these test blocks are uh, like rated, right? So this means that the questions are, um, you know, correct or incorrect. And I mean, some of them have code and some of them have images, um, but there's always like, you know, there's a score for each question, right? Um, but some, some of these test blocks also have free answer questions, right? And these are essentially just like um, general interview questions that we've added to these test blocks so that you can already, you know, find out this information from the candidate, all right? Um, but so for this test, like what I want to do is that I essentially, the first thing that I want to do is that I want to see if the candidate has the specific skills that are needed for this position. Right. And then the second thing I'll do is also add some additional questions, right? So these are custom questions um, that I would like to add the candidate. Okay. But let's start with adding test blocks, pre-made test blocks first in order to uh, assess skills for this candidate. Right. Great. So as I said, for this position, the candidate will have to know React. So let's add uh, the React test block right here, okay? So this has now been added. And let's try to find our other test blocks, right? And as you can see, there's a lot of test blocks. You can also uh, use the search bar here, right, to look for a test block. And so as you can see here, like I, uh, I'm looking for HTML because the candidate has to know HTML, which, uh, you know, for a front-end developer is a necessity. So there we go. And uh, let's add CSS as well, all right? Great. So this is a pretty big test, as you can see here. It's telling me um, that, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I could potentially, like, uh, separate this into different tests, but it's fine for now, right? So it's, uh, like, I think it's all pretty, you know, pretty good. So I'll just, like, leave this here, right? Uh, great. So I've got three skills that I'm testing right now, right? And now what I want to do is add some custom questions as well, right? So I'll add this here and um, I'll just write that these are my additional questions, okay? All right, so I've added the information, the basic information for my test block right here. And now I'm going to move to the editor, all right? And so as you can see from here, uh, I start with a single question, but I can add as many questions as I want, right? Um, so here, you know, we have like a lot of different options to choose from to create these questions, right? So I can choose to either uh, create a rated question, 
right? So this means that there's a correct answer and a wrong answer. And, um, you know, each question essentially has a score. And then we add the score to the total test result for that candidate, right? Um, so, you know, I can choose between like a single correct answer, multiple correct answers, and a free answer means that it's not rated, okay? And so for this test right here, for my front-end developer test, I, so I'm assessing the scales, right, which I've added earlier, but now, like, I want to add three, so I want to add three uh, custom questions to this test, okay? I have my questions um, already here, okay, so let's add those. So these are just, you know, general things that I would like to know about the candidate. Great. So these are the two questions. I'll leave both of these as uh, free answers. And I'll choose uh, the long answer type, right? So this means that the candidate has, um, you know, can write like, um, like a longer paragraph, for example, instead of like a smaller, shorter answer. Okay. Great. So... I'll remove the time limit from both of these questions because, you know, I just want to uh, allow the candidate as much time as possible uh, for him to, um, you know, answer. And so there's a lot of other things that I could add to these questions, right? So I can add some additional instructions. For example, here, actually, that's what I want to do. So I'll be adding this in the instructions instead. Um, then I can add code as well so you know for example like let's say if uh, i want to add a piece of code and i want to ask the candidate to explain what is going on right like what is going on with the script for example and uh you know you can write your code right here or paste it um and there's a lot of like different languages that you can choose from as well in order to uh, syntax highlight the code all right and plain text means that there's no highlighting either, okay? And so I don't want to do this right now. Um, it's just a feature, right, that you can add as well. And then you can also choose to add an image, uh, which will show up for uh, this question as well. And then the last option would be to display the answers as code, like if you have a rated question, all right? Great. So these are my two uh, custom questions right here, right? So these are free answers. And for the third question, this is just going to be like a yes or no answer. Have you worked on a React FinTech application before? All right. So that's the question. And this is not going to be a free answer. I mean, it could be a free answer if that's what you want to know, if you want the candidate to explain. But in this case, it's just going to be yes or no. Okay. And I would like my front-end developer to have worked on a fintech uh, application before. So I'll indicate that this is the correct answer for this uh, question, right? And so what this allows me to do is that it's essentially, like it allows me to quickly see like which candidates, um, you know, have worked on fintech products before or which ones haven't, okay? All right, so these are my three custom questions. If you have more, right? So if you have a lot of different questions uh, what you can do is use the bulk import right here and uh, you can watch a tutorial on how this works but you can essentially upload like an excel or a csv uh, data file to you know like add all of your questions like automatically all right great so these are my custom questions i'll create this test block as you can see that's a big test right here but it's looking good right so let's maybe you know order it like this and that's perfect so now here uh, on step three, like I'm getting a preview, right, of uh, the test. So this is all of the information I put together. I could add some notes here. Um, and here I have another, you know, it's, it's allowing me to uh, choose to record a test take again, but I'm not, I'm gonna uh, leave this turned off, right? But again, it's a pretty good feature to have, um, especially like, uh, for example, like this, right? If you would like the user to talk while they're being recorded. Perfect. All right, so I just created my tests and as you can see, it's showing up right here um, on the test page, okay? So if you have a lot of tests, like this account does, like it has 34 different tests, 
you can choose, you know, you can just like use search bar right here. Okay. You can also change a view if that's uh, like an easier view to, uh, you know, for you to like manage your tests. Uh, I personally prefer this view for tests. So this is the front end developer test. Okay. And from here, you can choose to view the test, which is going to open up a new uh, browser tab, and I'll be able to see what it, what the test looks like for a candidate, right? So this is what a candidate would see. Um, and if he starts a test, he's you know he has like a very short recording that explains how to take the test, what to pay attention to, and it will show the candidate that he's logged in as well, right? So let's do that, as you can see here. And if I start the test, then essentially like we would be showing all of the questions for those test blocks, okay? Uh, for this recording, like I'm not gonna show our test box right here, but I will go over the additional questions that I've just created, okay? So let's have a look at that. As you can see, um, my custom questions are showing up here, okay? I forgot a, uh, like a letter right here. And then here is my um, single answer question, right? And I'll indicate yes. Great. So now I still have these uh, three other test blocks to complete, which I'm not going to do right now, but the candidate would have to do this, okay? Awesome. So right now you would be getting an email, right? So if the uh, user completes the test, um, so actually right now, as you can see, like it's still in progress. So um, this is my result. This is actually the test that I just took, right? And so as you can see right now, like it says 100% uh, 100, 100 right here, because for this test block, the only correct answer was correct, right? The correct answer here was that this candidate should have worked on a React FinTech application before. Great, so that's pretty much it. Right here, you'll get the email from the candidate, right? So this is just like a test user that we have. I can choose to add some notes and I can also view the candidate's profile, which is you know pretty cool. Like if you wanna learn more uh, about this candidate to potentially make a hiring decision, right? So you're able to see their work experience. You're able to see a video if they have a video. You're able to see their uh, career timeline. And here you'll be able to see like other test blocks that they have completed as well. So this is really great if you're trying to see like what other skills a candidate has, right? Um, you know, let's say like I'm hiring a full stack engineer and I have some front end skills and back end skills. And um, this candidate that didn't score that well in front end skills, but maybe they scored well on back end skills. So if they've ever completed those tests on Tooling, you will actually be able to see those here, right? And so that's, um, that's very useful um, because you don't have to assess this candidate again to know this information, all right? Uh, great, so this is essentially the results page. If I would complete these other test blocks, then they would all show up here as well, okay? So, um, yeah. Right, so as you can see right now it says 100%, but it's only because I've answered like a single question and it has not been completed yet, all right? So from here, right, so I can choose to like, for example, accept this result, right? So if, uh, I, if I like this application, right, I can choose to accept it. There's also these like, you know, bulk, um, you know, I, I can uh, like manage these applications in bulk as well. Um, and then you can also quick view them, which is pretty good if you have a lot of applications then you can just, you know, quickly go over all of these applications and, you know, change their status if needed. Okay, so you're going to be able to see like all of the questions and answers here as well for each of these candidates, right? You also have some fil filters and in the search bar, you can look for different uh, results and you can look for uh, the name of the candidate or the different tests and other stuff as well, all right? You can also click on your test here directly to get a concentrated view of all the results. And as you can see, my uh, front end developer test right here only has one result, which is the result that I took earlier. All right. So that's it. Um, you know, from here, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Um, you know, like once you manage your results, like you're able to see them 
uh, in those in these different tabs right here, right? You can also view all the ones that are in progress um, and the ar archived ones as well, right? So if you'd like to archive some results, then you can do this from here and um, they'll just be like put out of the way, right? So this is really, the, uh, you know, depending on how you want to keep your, like your tabs organized. Perfect. So that's it. Uh, like one more thing is that you can also filter by test score, right? So if you only want to see the advanced results, then you can do this here. Okay. And you can quickly manage them as well. Great. So that's it for um, creating a test to assess a remote engineer.